First at noon, new details in a story that first began to develop last night. DeKalb County Schools has new temporary leadership after firing its superintendent. Cheryl Watson Harris told CBS 46 she was, quote, blindsided after the board voted to terminate her contract. CBS 46's Rebecca Schramm is live at Druid Hills High, peeling back the layers of this story. And there are many, Rebecca, some deplorable conditions that that school might have played a role in the board's decision. Yeah, and Rob, you know, there's been quite a bit of turmoil since that video that students here made went public. Parents all across the district have been chiming in on social media with opinions about the firing of the superintendent. I spoke with one parent who's been quite vocal. He happens to have a platform that allows him to be. Well, the school district has, has been a mess throughout the years. Dan Wisenhunt is the editor and publisher of Decaturish.com. He wrote an opinion piece hours after the DeKalb County School Board abruptly fired Superintendent Dr. Cheryl Watson Harris. I'm not surprised she got fired because I could see this coming a long time ago because they have not been getting along. I am surprised by how quickly it happened. The firing comes on the heels of a scathing letter from state school superintendent Richard Woods blasting the board for allowing schools like Druid Hills High School to fall into egregious disrepair. That was Monday. On Tuesday, the board fired Watson Harris less than two years after she took the position. She was a scapegoat for the failings of not only this board, but of all the previous boards. Wisenhunt says even before this, the board had limited the superintendent's spending power and had resisted her hires. It seems the school board is entirely motivated by spite. He says it's time for elected officials outside the school board to step up. I think we need to revisit the structure of the board. I think having the board structured the way it is, where each board member is worried about protecting their own turf and not worried about serving the district as a whole, creates these conflicts. They're about to go look for another superintendent, but seriously, who wants this job? After looking at what just happened, who would want to touch this job with a 10-foot pole? I wouldn't. From what we're hearing, in less than an hour from now, the school board is planning to hold a news conference to explain why they fired the superintendent. We will have updates for you throughout the afternoon and evening. Live in DeKalb County, Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News.